Speaking of makeup, and I'm about to, did you know that ancient Romans used toxic chemicals in their makeup even though they were aware that they were super dangerous? Well, here are crazy beauty rituals and trends from ancient times to our days. Beauty came at a price back then. Romans used poisonous ingredients along with healthy and organic cosmetics. And yes, from the very beginning, they were aware that these chemicals weren't harmless. Here are three substances they used for the sake of beauty. The first one was cinnabar. It was a dangerous mix of chemicals. This substance contained red mercuric sulfide and red lead. Women applied cinnabar as a blush. Luckily, women in ancient Greece had organic alternatives to this monstrosity, such as rose petals. But would you be surprised to hear that mercury poisoning still exists today, caused by some skincare goods? The second sinister ingredient they added to their makeup routine was coal. It's a poisonous substance with multiple risks. For instance, it can cause abdominal cramps. Yet it was among the most popular beauty products back then and was used all over the place, from the Middle East to Africa. When picturing Cleopatra, you probably imagine her with dramatic eye makeup. It's believed she applied coal eyeliner. Yet coal differs from other types of cosmetics because it wasn't used just for the sake of beauty. Ancient Egyptians believed that it had spiritual and medicinal benefits. They were sure that this black substance protected their eyes from the sun. Plus, it was a shout-out to the Egyptian deity Horus and his falcon eyes, as well as the protection from evil spirits and the rage of other deities, such as Ra, who, by the way, was the god of cheerleaders. You know, Ra Ra. <laughs> Anyways, nowadays, most of the world has stopped using coal as an eyeliner. Though in some parts of the world, such as India, people still use it. I'll mention whitening supplies more than once in this video, because people from various civilizations and different eras wanted to achieve that chalk-white look of their skin. Mm -mm. Romans used a substance called cerusa, which means sugar of lead in Latin. Upper-class people wanted to make their faces look lighter. But although some Romans choose to use this dangerous whitening agent, others opted for another way, chalk dust, surely a much safer alternative. Lead is an extremely poisonous substance. It can cause skin ruptures and even worse consequences. But Romans allowed it to make its way into their cosmetic procedures. It was also used as a hair dye. It didn't stop there. Scholars believe that lead line cooking utilities cause poisoning in the long term, which could have helped bring the fall of the empire. Moving on. From the 15th to the 18th centuries, the skin of the whitest shade was the coolest look you could get. So people applied a combo of white lead and vinegar on their faces. This mixture made their skin peel off. They then applied lead sulfate to apparently remove freckles. In the long term, this routine resulted in irreversible damage. The skin would get all sorts of problems, so people would use other products to cover these imperfections up. But you know how skin health works. Once you try to hide something, you only make the situation worse. And once you start, you can't stop. By the way, if you had lived in ancient Greece, you couldn't have left your eyebrows as they were. Mm -mm. A unibrow was part of the desired beauty standard. Frida Kahlo would have been even more iconic back then. People with unibrows were considered to be pure and intelligent. Women who didn't have a unibrow dyed goat hair and used it to connect their brows. Now that you're into hearing more about beauty standards of the past, we can carry on with some practices from Asia. Let's start with China's foot-binding custom. There, the beauty package included having small feet, unnaturally small feet. This fashion lasted for centuries, from around the 13th century to the 20th. The authorities officially banned this practice in 1912. So, what was this custom about? Well, there was a saying that the most desirable bride possessed a 3-inch foot. Wow! This saying was so powerful that young women had to bind their feet from a very early age. Foot binding was a painful and hard procedure that affected women. With such tight bandages, their bones didn't grow naturally and properly. A grown-up person's feet would be very small and different from what they were supposed to be. Now, let's move from feet to hands. Fashion was used as an opportunity to show off your social status. Aristocrats had nails reaching up to 10 inches. As you can imagine, you can't do anything with such long nails, not even hold a spoon or brush your hair. 
That's why they had servants to help them with daily tasks. Plus, they wore special nail accessories. They looked like nail cages that were supposed to protect their nails from accidents. These nail guards were made of gold, so they could also show how privileged their owners were. Teleporting over to Japan, to that time when black teeth were popular. The practice of making your teeth black is called oaguro. It was the symbol of maturity and beauty. The teeth blackening solution contained iron filings, vinegar, tea, and some other ingredients. This mixture didn't cause permanent staining or damage to the teeth, but it's said to have smelled pretty bad. If you had accentuated veins in pre-revolution France, you were the center of attention. Blue veins were considered a sign of nobility and symbolized privileges. Back then, women used blue pencils to color the outlines of their veins, for instance, on their hands. Now, Queen Elizabeth I was probably the trendsetter for painting her face to make it look white and ghost-like. As I mentioned before, people used to douse their faces in white makeup in different eras. But those who lived in the 19th century took it a step further with arsenic wafers. Yes, arsenic indeed eliminates the red blood cells in the body. As a result, you get whiter skin. But the perfect pale skin came at a heavy price. People could also experience internal bleeding, hair loss, blindness, and other consequences. Similarly, the tuberculosis look was famous among Victorians. This disease resulted in red lips, thin waists, and pale skin. Romanticizing it. I know. Disturbing. Now, there's a poisonous plant called belladonna. That means beautiful woman. Women used it to dilate their pupils so that their eyes looked darker and more expressive. That's where the name of the plant came from. Wide foreheads were admired in the Middle Ages. People were plucking their eyelashes and eyebrows. They also plucked the hairline to make it retreat further to the back of their heads. They believed that when they had a high forehead, they resembled a baby. And since babies were innocent and pure, they would look this way too. Wow, I hope they didn't mimic the other baby habits too. The next one didn't serve a cosmetic purpose at all. Marie Curie discovered radiation in 1898. Her invention changed so many things in the medical world. Cosmetics manufacturers wanted to benefit from this discovery. That's why companies started to use radiation in their products. They just jumped into it before analyzing the effects it could cause. In the 1920s and 30s, some companies advertised radioactive creams, soaps, and beauty products. I know it's hard to believe. Their go-to sentences involve phrases like revitalizes the skin and luminous energy. Yeah, and how about that healthy glow? Now, some honorable mentions. Fake eyelashes were once sewn into the eyelids. Corsets in the 18th and 19th centuries were so tight that they changed women's skeletons. These trends look weird and cruel to us, but don't underestimate the power of customs, traditions, and perception. Maybe a hundred years from now, they'll look back at us and say the same thing about 21st century beauty practices. Do you get your share of this craziness? Or do you want to hear more about creepy beauty trends from the past? Leave us a comment! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.